So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So as promised in my Honda BRV VX review, I will be driving this BRV V variant. So this will be just only a test drive for this V variant because I already did a in-depth walk around tour of actually all of the variants. So link of that will be the description down below. So yet again, I'll just be here for the drive because I couldn't pass the opportunity. And I'd like to thank Honda Cars Green Hill so much for inviting me for their special viewing last November 21. Actually got me excited to drive this because theirs was a V van. The one I driven in Honda Cars Manila Bay was a VX van. So yet again, all of the differences there will be in that main review. So immediately I noticed with this V variant there is no buttons here for your adaptive cruise control and no corner camera for the right side mirror and hilariously i finally got this side by side with the honda city rs they have the exact same wheels so yeah first impressions with this brv it feels pretty much the same and going out of the car park from honda cars green hills this thing is really light not numb but it is really really light and off the line being a honda it's actually not too bad moment of truth this does not have paddle shifters by the way so i wonder if this has the same characteristics with the on the cts hmm okay it didn't automatically upshift i think i know it's supposed to do because my friend adrian 1011 shout out to him he was able to drive this day earlier so check out his POV drive of this as well. He told me it shifts up and down, even though there's no paddle shifters. Let's try again. Hey. Okay. This is actually a good sign now because in the City V compared to the City RS. For some reason that was not shifting, so it was always on the red light, six and uh, six thousand seven hundred RPM. Yeah, that really annoyed me. Just being honest, that's why I said in that review, go for the City RS instead. But for this BRV V to the VX, this is actually surprising because I was expecting for it to be stuck on the red line since there are no paddle shifters. That's why I always look for paddle shifters in a CVT. If you're planning to take this at highway speeds, yeah, it will tend to be very annoying. Despite that, I was in sport mode. It still responds pretty well and actually got to high speeds. Okay, it's not the fastest thing but the fastest among its MPV rivals comparing like the Expander. And again, I wanted more seat time with this BRV because I found out that the S base variant is not actually a 5-speed manual transmission. It's actually a 6-speed manual transmission. So that actually get me one step closer to probably get a one. Because I know I said in my main BRV review that I choose the VX because it has all of the goodies like the adaptive. I've never used adaptive cruise control in my life and probably never will but it's nice to have it and I got to experience it first time too. It is literally the same driving characteristics but yet again I'm very curious now how that 6-speed manual transmission will perform. And then driving around here in the city example like in Green Hills it's very very easy. I mean the steering is so light it does not change either in D or in S in the gear lever. It's pretty much the same. Just driving it here like 40 kilometers per hour Okay, it's pretty alright too. The NVH here, like what I said in my main review, it is really good. Probably as well one of the best in class, but of course it's one of the best performing what MPVs in its class, I must say. And then I didn't even mention this in my main review. If you're light-footed, there will be an eco meter being displayed in the instrument cluster. And like in my first review, the fuel economy of 7.1 kilometers per liter. It's kind of accurate since you already have a one and a half liter Nachi aspirated four cylinder engine. And yeah, it's still the most powerful one in its class, but the fuel economy isn't too bad at all. This one's a little bit better, 7.5 kilometers per liter, which is 
on par in its class and not too bad for a 120 horsepower engine I gotta say this is also what I wanted to try out because the roads in Moa where I tested out the VX in Mani Honda Cars Manila Bay were actually all smooth so I wanted to try here in rougher parts of Green Hills they have bad roads but that's a good test actually for this BRV and then off the line like in my main review with the BRV the CVT of this is actually really responsive so off the line it kind of acts more like conventional automatic transmission I mean here I'll stop and then suddenly go in oh look at that that's really good so a little nitpick for this Viva and compared to the VX I'm not gonna lie I do miss the corner camera I already went around green hills with rough parts of road it soaks bumps and humps pretty well not as good as an expander but I gotta say it's close enough but I gotta say it's better than for example what like a Toyota Rush what I like with the BRV2 it's the most powerful one in its class and gotta say the most balanced one in its class in terms of what NVH ride comfort it's right there smack in the middle now going back to the BRV S manual Ryan so I got a little bit carried away with that so since this has the same wheels as a Honda City, that's the first thing I will change in the BRV S manual. Because no offense, I don't like the steelies, but knowing you can fit even older GM6 Honda City wheels, that's the spec I will do with those wheels. I'm not gonna get T37s because I don't wanna avoid my warranty. And then here just the mm, okay. Now this is what I noticed now with this CVT transmission. So it will shift automatically if you hit the red line. So that's that little bit of a nitpick with me with the VX because there's a manual mode for the CVT. This does not have plus minus at all. It's just continuous the drive, the sport, and the low gear mode. That that's pretty much it. But if you're not nitpicky like me, this is actually still a very very good daily because it's it's a Honda and it's pretty easy to drive like it's competition too and the other thing with this BRV compared to its rivals overtaking will be much easier here yeah and this already trumps the class like what I said I really admit this is better than the Mitsubishi Expander that does not have adaptive cruise control it's not the most powerful one in its class I know everyone nitpicks of the manual handbrake but to be honest I prefer a manual handbrake over an electronic one because just in case in the long term it could be easier to replace and here look 40 kilometers per hour look how quiet the cabin is and then suddenly fly just in the I really love this performance of the BRV and despite being the V variant again my nitpick no paddle shifters this one is really really good so actually I like this part of Green Hills to test out the chassis because this part is really really bumpy okay this is what I like too with the BRV just the NVH is really excellent like here you don't have you don't hear much of this suspension that aka kalampag okay this is good so I'll make one U-turn here and this is the bump I hit really fast with the Abarth 595 and the Mitsubishi Lancer EX so I want to see how this will perform and my case still stands like in my main BRV review that to this day will still prefer this over the Mitsubishi Expander because it's got everything I need to be honest I know the top of the line compared within this BRV VX and the Mitsubishi Expander yeah that it has more tech and even for the manual this applies for both uh, MPVs you got already the touchscreen infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto that's what I like with both of them but I gotta say I'm more sided now with the BRV S manual because that's a six speed so I think that will be much more enjoyable to drive at highway speeds and much quieter since there's an additional gear so you thought the expander with the fifth gear will do wonders can you imagine with the sixth gear of the BRV so getting carried away again with the S variant so let's go back to this V sport mode now let's try that fast bump test this gonna hit the bump really quick ah that soaked it up pretty well 
but this is a close second place in terms of ride comfort but of course being the BRV this will trump its class in terms of driving dynamics and the power alone so diving it a bit more oh the fuel economy slightly improved for once so I got now 7.9 kilometers per liter you can hit the magical 8.4 kilometers per liter like in every Honda car I reviewed so far so if you're light, more light footed than me, you can achieve that number easily compared to what I'm doing only. So here now, big test with this BRV, driving it here around the Nedza. <laughs> this is so good. I mean, gonna say the ride is literally like a Honda City, one which this is based on. Let's not hide that fact away. It literally rides like one, like a Honda City, but it's still damn comfortable. I mean, here look, rougher patches of road the speed limit of it's 60 kilometers per hour look how much look how well that soaks it up that's so good oh, listen to that 60 kilometers per hour look how good the NPH is I'm probably one step closer to getting a BRB so it's gonna be either the VX or the S manual transmission so hopefully there will be a test drive of the BRV S manual transmission because I'm really really curious with that six-speed automatic transmission. Got to drive this way longer than the one compared to Honda Cars Manila Bay. This is already a perfect daily for me, and nothing much I missed compared with the VX and this V. I mean I don't mind the analog instrument cluster I the best are digital so VX yes okay so I don't mind that either analog or digital comparing with both variants and I don't care with this what everyone says with this I don't mind the manual handbrake at all either way if it, this BRV came within electronic parking brake or manual handbrake I wouldn't mind whatsoever and oh yeah being the V van like what I said there's no buttons on the right side of the steering wheel that's the other differences between this V and the VX van. So that concludes my review finally with this BRV V van. So I'd like to thank Honda Cars Green Hills, Miss Addis, Sir Ben, and Sir Lorenzo over here for assisting me in this test drive. And yet again, I'd like to thank them for inviting me during the special viewing of this BRV last November. So hope you guys like and subscribe. <laughs> and I will see you with more future car reviews and more Honda reviews coming right up. I'm driving one more car after this, by the way. Bye-bye.